Okay, guys. So before I get into the main part of today's video, I just want to say a quick thank you for 100 subscribers. That's really neat. Hope we can keep going with it. So a little bit of context to this video. I sold the DRZ. All right. I guess this is the moment. You guys are going to be here any minute. Hopefully they're going to buy it, enjoy it, do whatever with it. Keep me posted on it because I'm going to miss this bike quite a lot. I know I wanted to make a lot more content with it, but immediately after I posted that, I had an offer for 5000 which was funny. Someone commented on the video and said 5 k isn't worth getting rid of it, and I know, but it ended up working out really well at that price. Yes, the DRZ is gone. Motorcycle content's going to be down a little bit. In hindsight, I kind of wanted to tone it back a bit, but there will be some motorcycle content. My dad has a bike. He might let me ride. My friend has a backup bike we might do a fun video with. But for now, content's going to be taking a little bit of a turn. And let me just show you what I mean by that. So my initial plan for the summer was to have a motorcycle to ride, sell it after a little while, and take the money I get from it and split it 50-50-ish and get a bike and a four-wheeler out of it. And with the motorcycle, keep flipping and four-wheeler possibly put down to get a new one. And funny enough, now the motorcycle is gone, I found a really good deal on a four-wheeler which is where this comes in. So this is my 2011 Yamaha Grizzly 450. This is the new four-wheeler. I mean, it's not brand new, but it's new to me. It's the newest four-wheeler I've ever owned. And it's a little rough. I mean, I rode this weekend and it's dirty, but whenever I went to pick this up, the owner said it had 6,000 something miles. Now from here, you could kind of see how it looked like 7,000 miles, but notice that is the trip odometer. It only has 900 miles. So what I'm probably going to do really quick before I get into the videos from the day I picked it up, I'm going to go down to my creek and just ride around a little bit, show you guys what kind of stuff I do. So here it is out in the sunlight. I'm gonna go take a quick little ride down there to my little creek lane and show you the type of terrain that we ride in. Not gonna go too crazy. Needs the carb cleaned out because it sat for a long time and I am pretty much out of fuel. I'll give you guys a quick ride. After the quick ride, I'll show you guys the video of the day I picked it up. All right. So this is nothing crazy, but what me and my friends will do, oftentimes we'll get off of work, we'll all get in a big group and go out to a creek that's about 15 miles that way and ride around all night, go out to a river and stuff. And for the longest time, I had another four-wheeler last year, but it was nowhere near as equipped as this one is. That's why I jumped at this opportunity. It has a few things that needs fixed on it, but in retrospect, most four-wheelers go for about 5K and they're in much worse condition. So maybe I can make some videos of the maintenance stuff on this. I already went through and replaced a couple axles. I have more to install and I have wheel bearings for it. And I would also like to end up doing more wheels and tires, which it also came with wheels and tires and a snow plow and a winch. And yeah, I'll probably end up going through there really quick just to show you the type of riding we do. Hopefully I can make it back out because those hills are steep and I'm running low on fuel. But after that, I'll get to the videos of me picking it up. All right, here we are. See if I can get down here into some seeker stuff. Put her in four wheel drive and just mosey on through. This is where I was the other day, as you can see from my old tracks. I don't know. There's something just nice about being able to come out here, relax after a day of work. Can't wait to make more videos of this. Just for reference, I just climbed up this, and there she is. Did pretty decent. There's a dead gar. What's the, what's the actual speed of here? 40? <laughs> we going 30. <laughs> Are they turning off? No, they're, they're coming on. Uh, Fuck! They turned. Never mind. <laughs> I am that dickhead in a sports car that goes 10 under the speed limit. Fuck everyone. <laughs>
There you go. Well, too far. Forward. A little bit more. There you go. Stop. Park. There we go. It's completely focused on my finger. <laughs> Lock. You're ex You're making that way too difficult. I forgot how it works. Let's go to the Whoa, Mark, she, she wanna fuck on him. Yeah. How do you feel buying your first non-shit four-wheeler? Um, explicit. Turn this bitch on. All right, so there is absolutely no way that just happened, but we there messaged is. him. And the way he described it was that this four-wheeler had 6,800 something miles for three grand. And we show up and it has 860 miles. So whenever we got there, the axle in the back left actually had a tear on the boot and he didn't know about it. And he continued to drop the price for us, which I did not expect in the slightest. I wasn't even mad about it. It has the original owner's manual. I'm pretty sure I'm now the third owner and I got it for 2,800 bucks and it is barely 11 years old. Was that in the, was that in the frame the whole Just, time? No, nah, it was for a second though. All right, well. I got it. It's either good. way, we've got it all loaded up now. We're headed back and I will give a walk around whenever we get there. So yeah, guys, there you have it. That's the new four wheeler, how I got it. And it's probably going to be what I end up making content with for a while. So. I know I already told this in the last video that I wanted everything to be motorcycle based and car based and stuff. I do, but it's not all going to be consistent for a long time. I'm going to try and stay as consistent with possible with whatever I'm doing, and I hope this will stay around for a while. So if there's anything you guys would like me to do to it, have recommendations on things to do to it to make it better for what I do for riding, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Drive, motherfucker! <laughs>